Good morning. Welcome to the Zerdi Sakai and other Perio tools, a match made in heaven. Presenters Ing Donkerboot. Yes, please leave. Almost. <laughs> Inge Donkerboot. Donkerboot. Thank you very much. Um, so well, thank you, Derek. Um, or sorry, Benito. <laughs> um, my name is Inga Donkvoort and I'm from the Zerti community. Um, I also work in a company called D-Learning and uh, we uh, work a lot with Zerti. And uh, we are also one of the uh, core developers uh, from the Zerti project. And um, I'm, uh, I started as a, as a teacher in a school. And later in my life, I discovered that using software for uh, developing and uh, help uh, students to develop better uh, was a really good thing. Uh, and that's why we, we I started a company called D-Learning to help organizations and students and uh, other users um, to get everything out of um, the software that you can. So uh, you can learn anywhere, anyhow, and um, in any way you want. Today, my session is about um, uh, Zerti and Sakai and other Aperio tools and a match made in heaven. Uh, we are a member of the Aperio Foundation as a Zerti um, community for a long time. And um, I was thinking about that there are a lot of really nice tools in the Aperio um, community. And with some of them, we already work together, but with others, we didn't. So I thought, what if um, I, um, I'm going to try to um, see what uh, Zerti, how it works with the other tools. So I have a few examples for you today. Um, I hope I can show them live to you. If you have any questions, please ask them. I thought it must, uh, it should be in the shared notes. Um, Tom Reinders from D-Learning is also here, is also from the Zerdi community. So he can answer also your questions in between. Um, and um, I hope uh, that um, you, uh, if you have questions that you will ask them. So let's start with um, Zerti itself. Zerti was, um, uh, Zerti was a part of the Aperio Foundation since 2014. Um, but since Corona, we discovered that um, there is a lot of interest in um, creating materials, online materials uh, for your students. Uh, a lot of organizations, and we work especially in the Netherlands, a lot of organizations uh, discovered that they have not enough materials to use when you come to a time that all the students are at home and you are, are at school. Um, we also noticed that um, there are a lot of uh, tools, Zerti tools, or sorry, uh, Aperio tools that also have the same um, thing during that period. period. So uh, what if we could make a sort of a learning ecosystem with all those Aperio tools that would be great and tomorrow uh, we have the stack hack then um, also we are going to look into how the different tools can work together but i give you a short um yeah in introduction to that for the ones that do not know what 30 is 30 is a uh, content authoring tool so you can create uh, learning modules you can create learning modules um, that you can add to your LMS or send to your students by mail, uh, using the app, uh, whatever, you can distribute it. And when uh, teachers are working, teachers or uh, developers working on the modules, they can work together. They can share um, the modules between each other and um, make sure that um, when one school has a module and another school wants that module, that, that's made very easy. There is a very active community and um, uh, this is an old picture. It's from 2015, uh, co the Imperial Conference. Uh, so not everything is here on this um, image. Uh, what we added in the last years is things like dashboarding and uh, that kind of things. Adaptive learning is also one of the things that we added. So Zerti is a content authoring tool where you can create all kinds of modules with interactivities in it. 
Um, I have a few examples, so you know what we are um, uh, coming from. Um, for example, this one. I will share this resource with you as well, so you can look at it afterwards. This is um, uh, a, a module created in Xerti, and we called it a bootstrap, bootstrap template, sort of a mini website where you can add all kinds of information in this kind. And I'm sorry, it's in Dutch um, about how, you're, who you, how you can create uh, animations. And this uh, module is created for um, teachers to create animations with all kinds of information. And um, in this case, it's only on one page. Uh, we call it a one pager. Another example is this one. This is a, a multi-pager. Um, this is created for teachers who are starting to create modules with all kinds of information, how to start with um, creating Xerti modules. So first you, you get the analyze phase. Uh, you see um, it's a multi-page, so you have a lot of uh, uh, things here in the menu. Um, you're going to analyze um, with all kinds of information, or you go to the content and see um, information, um, all kinds of information for the developers to create modules. This is also a bootstrap template in Xerti. With Xerti, you can create different uh, templates. Um, this is another idea. This is also the bootstrap template, but in this case, it is used as a newsletter. So this organization has a newsletter, uh, number one, and there's all kind of information about Xerti for their teachers for the, and the creators. Um, and the week after, they have another newsletter with all kind of information, um, new hired people, uh, new things in Xerti, releases, all kind of information. Another idea how you can use Xerti. Um, we had, the, we, uh, as I said, we have different templates. So this is the Xerti Online Toolkits template. And, this is uh, not a mini website, but you can create uh, a module with all kinds of different interactivities uh, behind each other. So if I go to the module, uh, you see um, I can walk through it from page to page, or I can use the menu that's here on the, uh, the starting page. And I go to, uh, these are goals, for example, and um, I have all kind of information, a lot of media like images, video, audio. You can all uh, add it to the module. In this case, it's a video. And uh, when the video is playing here, um, you get some questions. So you get the student also actively uh, looking at the video instead of uh, laying back and just uh, watching it. So this is an Xerti online toolkit template module. Um, in that Xerti online toolkits uh, template module, you, we have 70, more than 70 pages you can use. Uh, a normal text page, a bullet page, a quiz, um, uh, interactive video. And this is also a page, one page from the 70 you can use, but it's really hot at the moment. And that's the uh, 360 image page because what you can do is walk around walk around in this uh, castle and uh, look at all kind of things uh, for example some information here some information about the gatehouse um, or i can go further and i walk through that gate uh, i can get even further and those are all um, 360 image photographs or just panorama photographs from your uh, mobile phone. You can use them as well. Uh, what you see here is also um, a small uh, lock. So I can't go in there before I got the, the answer on this question. So I have to look really carefully in this uh, page to see what the answer is before I can uh, go a bit further. So this is a a very basic escape room. Um, another example is the interactive video. And the interactive video is uh, a video. I will 
audio down. Uh, I start the video and you see here all the dots and every time uh, we come to a dot, something happens. So in this case, I get some information. And when I click the play button, the uh, video goes on and then I, come, uh, I can add, for example, um, a question. Um, Oh, this is also to make it uh, sure that the student keeps actively involved in the online materials. So this is the interactive video page. Also one of the pages of the 70 pages uh, that we have in the online uh, set online toolkits template. And this is the last example I want to show you. You can also create really nice escape rooms. And uh, I don't know if there are people in this session that uh, have seen my sessions before, but I have yeah, done some sessions about escape rooms. This is an escape room, not for me, someone else uh, created this. Um, but you can do, you don't know what you have to do. So you have to click everywhere to see information and try to get, um, to find the the answer. For example, here's a, a button. I'm going to click on the button. Oh no, the lights are off. I put them on again. And I know that I have to go here and I go to another room. I have to do something here and go back and, um, and go uh, and find out and my way out of this classroom because the students locked me in, in this classroom. Um, you can imagine that if you add um, uh, materials around your subject like um, chemistry or uh, math or whatever, uh, that they have to do some tests uh, to go uh, further, uh, that they are learning and having fun at the same time. And that's a really good combination. So these are a few examples of Xerti. I don't know if you have any questions at the moment about these examples. I don't see any questions in the chat yet, so I go on. Um, yes, then we go to a more serious part of this presentation um, and a more technical one. Uh, if we, uh, like we, we, I started, there are in Aperio a lot of nice tools, software programs we can use. And, um, maybe we can create a very big, nice um, learning ecosystem. And uh, for example, I created here, this is just an example, it doesn't exist, but uh, it exists with other tools. But for example, you have Xerti modules, you use LTI, that is Tsugi, Tsugi is also from Aperio, um, it's in incubation. Um, and via LTI, you add it to your uh, LMS, in this case Sakai, but you can add it to any LMS you want. Um, and if you want, you can use uh, dashboard, uh, dashboards and you can um, uh, get the information from the LRS learning record store. Those are not from um, Aperio yet. Uh, there is an open uh, LRS uh, from Aperio, but that uses Galloper instead of XAPI, so that couldn't work with our Xerti modules. But as soon as that is possible, we are going to try it out. Uh, so you can create really nice um, learning ecosystem. Uh, the, the, so the Aperio Foundation has a, lo a lot of tools, and I uh, looked at them all. So we start at Xerti. Xerti uh, creates the content. Then we go to Sakai. We add it in the learning environment and there we can distribute it for the students to um, do the modules and have results. And the results are um, into the gradebook because we use Tsugi. And with Tsugi, we know who the student is and we can um, add his results to the gradebook in Sakai. Then we use CAS, uh, that is for single sign-on, because you don't want them to log in every time they go, go to another tool that we have in our learning ecosystem. So we can use uh, CAS for the single sign-on. Um, then we, uh, in the Xerti modules, and, and I think also in Sakai, you can add really nice videos and you can create them with OpenCast and put them in Xerti or Sakai. Then we have a, a really nice um, 
uh, searchable repository like Open Equella, where you can add all the modules so uh, students, but also teachers can search for their modules and other information. Then you portal that could be the start of your uh, students journey. Um, they could go to a portal and go from there to all the other things, uh, but the, the start could also be Sakai. Um, and in both uh, ways, you can add um, the 30 modules to Sakai or to your portal and uh, let the student um, do the modules and have results. And then there are um, uh, some more other uh, programs that I didn't investigate. We maybe have, can take a look at it tomorrow. So if one of you say, oh, one of these tools is really good to add to this uh, learning uh, ecosystem, please let us know, then we are going to try it out. So Zerti and Sakai. Um, you can add 30 modules, like I showed you, into Sakai just via a link, or you can use uh, add it to, uh, with the SCORM package, or you can add it with LTI. And I added here some uh, print screens, but I'm going to show it live. So here is Sakai. I'm logging in as a as a student. And as a student, I see here my course. And I go to my lessons in this case. And uh, it's a very empty Sakai because we the only thing we did till now is this. But I'm very uh, grateful to Kenny from uh, Longsight that he added the, the colors of 30 and to Wilma that explained uh, to me how it works. So, um, like uh, what I said, you can add it with a link and you can embed it, for example. So I'm going to show this page to you. Oh, this is opening in an uh, in another uh, tab. Um, and this is a learning object from Xerti. You have access to via uh, Sakai. I also have here an other example. Uh, and this is uh, an example that the student has to walk through and fill in some, some answers, so I will do that. I, uh, he asked me if you want to go on. Uh, I want to go on. Let me go to the start of this module. So it's about my digital footprint. It's a video, uh, some information. Here I can click a bit to see what, what they have all, what kind of information they have from me on the internet. <laughs> um, and here's a test, a small test. So I will do the test. I don't look at the answer, so I probably don't pass. I had one out of four. Um, so I go to the next page. I can add some information, I get feedback. On this page, there should be all the answers, and I don't know why it's not working, but that's, uh, we can look into that later. So all kind of information some tips. This is another kind of in, um, interactivity you can do with categories, it's called. I have one out of six. Here is multiple answers possible. And at the end of my module, I go to the end, I get the results. Um, you see here a strange duration of um, time, but that will be uh, solved in the next release. Um, so I did this uh, module and um, I can download this and send it to my uh, teacher. But because we use uh, Tsugi, uh, um, we know, Sakai knows who the student is. So as a, a teacher, I can see the results of this module. I'm going to back to my course. I'm going to log out and I'm going to log in as a, in this case as an admin, but that's the same as the teacher. And here I have the same course, um, but now I go to the lessons. And in the lessons, I have one 
linked more and that's linked to the dashboard. And from that module that I did now, I also got get the results into the dashboard. So um, you can see that I did the module today. Uh, I, I had a completion of 44% and my passing score was uh, six, so I did not pass. And I did a lot of things uh, I, I didn't do today. Um, so uh, a teacher can also see the, the, the dashboard. Um, I forgot to show you that you also got this, this information in the gradebook. So I'm going to log out and log in again as a, as a student. And then I go to uh, my course. I go to the uh, gradebook in this uh, case. And then you see as a student that I had 13.64% of the 100 uh, scored. Uh, so um, you get the results. It's not really, uh, I did not do the right things, I think. But uh, this is just an example that with Sugi, you can add the, the results to the gradebook. But if you want to know more as a teacher, you also can use the 30 dashboard. Um, so this is how um, it works. Zerti works with um, Tsugi and with um, Sakai. Uh, in this case, I added some links, but you can also add some nice um, uh, buttons. But I think some of you will know that better than I do. When I go back to the presentation, Uh, Christelle asked a question uh, that I click on the save button. Uh, I don't know what happens. We have to find out, but uh, it should be good that when they don't press the play, uh, uh, the press, um, uh, um, how do you call it, save button, that it also is saved. But you use the save button also um, to uh, uh, save in between. And then when you come back, you can uh, uh, start the session from there on instead of doing the whole module again. I go to the next page. Uh, in this case, it's Opencast. I added some uh, videos in Opencast. Um, this is the Opencast dashboard, and you see my two test videos here. So if I go now to this uh, to my next page, this is an Opencast video added to Zerti. So I can play it um, and you can use the, the opencast videos that you create are very good into Zerti itself. So Zerti is more of a carrier uh, where you can add the videos into it. Um, then the next one I want to show you is Equella. Um, in Equella, you can uh, you can create a repository with all the modules in it, and you can do it in two ways, um, maybe more, but I find out, found out two ways at the moment. I can just add a link, so a Zerti link, um, and then it's not uh, tracked, uh, but I can also add the SCORM package, and then the results will also be on the student if you um, have the uh, students connected to your uh, Equella. Let me see, I have an example here. I'm going to log in. Oh, I'm already logged in. So this is uh, our Equella. Uh, it's also very empty. But if I go to my favorites, I here see the two links I showed you in the image. And when I click, for example, on this one, I can go to the module and walk through the module. I get a message that I um, uh, that it's uh, tracked, uh, and I can walk through the module. So this is the connection with Equella, and then uh, Matthew Miles um, in 2080 already, um, just before Corona, he created a video how you can add uh, in. Uh, 30 objects to the Equella. So I added that video in here as well if you want to use this uh, module afterwards to look into the different ways of connecting 30 to the different tools. And the last one I want to show you is uPortal. 
Um, as you can see here, this is your portal, and uh, we added the Azurity module as a link. Then you can see an embedded link, so you can see the module and you can walk through it. Or in this case, as um, an XAPI LTI uh, link, and then uh, my uh, the results are also tracked. I have sign in here. And here you see COS again. So I'm logged in now in your portal. And I go in this case to LMS. And here you see the module just as a link embedded. Or on this side uh, uh, as an LTI tool. So I can, when I now go through the image, uh, to the module, it's also um, keeping the results. And you can see that because here I have a save button and here I don't have the save button. So this was my presentation about uh, Zerti Sakai and the other Aperio tools a match make in heaven. Um, I was wondering if you have any other questions or that I answered your question, Christella, good enough. I think there are no questions. Then I want to uh, thank you all for uh, joining this session. And uh, I hope you, um, you uh, uh, liked it and that you can do something with it. I will add the link to my session into the chat. And you can, it's also uploaded into the uh, TriSky.